Welcome back to Cactus Corp Plays Mother 3. How are you doing today, Bobby? I am doing fantastic, mostly because I'm partially drunk. Yeah. How are you doing today, and Commander? It is 10.33 a.m. Yep. Uh, it took so, me two hours to get here. Don't yeah, insult it. I'm pretty proud of you. <laughs> uh, all right, so last time we continued our search for our kids, and I think that's no. just what we're also doing this Don't time. Don't be a dick. You didn't answer my question. How are you today? Oh, you know. Oh, you know. Not too bad. <laughs> Answer the question, Morty. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we good. We All good. Right. All right. So, you're right. Last time we had just gone through the cave. We talked to the gypsies. Mm hmm Now we're trying to hunt down our kid. Yep. Hunt and him down, yep. We came across these pig face men who just sort of had a reviving machine, then flew off. Adjust the hat. And now we're staring at a tree with a bulge in its pants. Tree's behind us. Yeah. Well, you're not staring at it. All right, let's go. There a bulge go. in its pants? Look, it's got that little bulge right there. Bottom yeah, I, I see that. I just... Okay. Oh, what the fuck? That was creepy looking. There's some Pokemon up there, too. Anything down here? No, no problems. No problems. All Anything right. down here? Yeah, no problems. All right, I don't know what the hell this is. A titany. Titany? Die. Titty? It's a titty. Okay. Very strange looking titty. I ain't never seen one like that. He tried hypnosis, and it hit. Shit. Now I'm asleep. Go, Alec. Nice. Get All rocked. Right. So you just want to beat up fucking bugs with a stick? Yeah. Okay. All right. So what's what's on this other side of the bridge? A thing. No. Presents. No problems in the presents. Sprinting bomb. Yeah, we should probably grab yeah. that. Oh, no, not It's good. So, there we go. Uh, bang, bang, bang. Drinking. Yeah, I don't... We haven't seen paralysis at all. I'm you gonna just want to bail on it? I'm going to take a chance, and I'll go ahead and drop it. Yeah. It might screw us later, Whoa, 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 whoa. After this, go back to your goods. Okay, never mind. Never mind, Charlie. What? I, I saw the better stick and I forgot that your equipped stuff is still in your inventory. Oh, yeah. I was like, is that a different weapon that we picked up somewhere? Oh, no, that'd be... Yeah. That'd be cool, though. A balding... He's already bald! He's got, like, that muffler around his neck, though. Is that part of it? Yes, he's got the muff. That's the important yeah. bit. Everyone, you muff cabbage? Muff cabbage! <laughs> it's a jersey thing! <laughs> Beef jerky. Now that I think we're good, that cheese works pretty darn well. And we got a whole bunch of other beef jerky. Let us continue on. There's a present up there. I want it. Well, Batman can't swim, so. Oh, it's back! Pew! The titty regrew. <laughs> this reminds me of a uh, monster from. Crap, what was that movie? Dreamcatcher! Dreamcatcher. Yeah, based off a uh, Stephen King book. Oh, and yeah, the, I the, seen it. the book sucked, and the movie was worse. Well, well, checks out. Yeah. So if you've ever seen that movie, I'm sorry. <laughs> Another eagle. It's not good to be attacked by eagles, man. It's not good to attack eagles. Also, that don't do that. Right. I seen hella eagles when I was up in Alaska though. It was pretty dope. Like they, like uh, this guy, he's not allowed to do this anymore. But like we went on this whale watching tour, right? And like he went to this island, and there were hella eagles on the island. And he just like they recognized his boat because it was a bright pink ass boat, right? And like he he just like had all these dead fish that he filled with air, chucked them out, and then all the eagles would come out and just like scoop it off the top of the water. It was dope as fuck. My dad's got a video of it. Nice. I would say there was a YouTube video that somebody posted of where it's just like a couple of fishermen on the docks, and eagles are fucking everywhere, mm -hmm. and they're having to like you know, swat them away and just be like, go away, so they can you know walk around and do their jobs. I think that uh, eagles are endangered, aren't they? Uh, some of them are. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there are hella eagles in Alaska. At least like in the Juneau area, I saw a lot of them there. Both Hell. times I went. Helly Eagles. Helly Eagles. Oh, uh, you open the thing. Hotel California. <laughs> yeah, you can tell that Gavondri is Californian. But also the Eagles. 
It was a good joke. It was really good. Yeah. I can be proud of that one. Fuck you guys. <laughs> oh, we were, we were all judging you. It's okay. Yeah, I assume that all the time. Considering that I think 99% of our fan base is in California. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's true. I'm giving all of y'all shit. So what are we doing? Just grinding, or should uh, we just continue? I'm just walking around. Fresh lumber? That's probably a new weapon, huh? I don't know. It could be weird. What can we... Uh, let me, let me, let me Google it before we get rid of our butter stick. Okay. Uh, so fresh lumber. Hey, asshole. And I was Googling, and it's great. Yeah. The, only the finest... Okay. So the other day, a friend of mine asked me what the my... The better stick is better. Is it really? Fresh lumber is offensive 16, that one's 20. Okay, so I'll stick with the better stick. Uh, the other day a friend asked me what my dream job was. And I said, last man on the planet. <laughs> Pretty true today, too. I, I think that there are multiple ways that we could take that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's great. But you know all those girls that's, you know, I would only fuck you if you're the last guy on the planet? Mm -hmm. That's... That's me. That's what inspired the answer. They're all trying to repopulate, and you're just like, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know that I'm ready for that kind of responsibility. <laughs> up, all the way up to 16. All right. Our IQ went up some. Now he's smart. Yeah, he just, he just beat the shit out of a mantis, and then you get... More smarter. Yeah. I need to beat up some mantises. Mantis I Man 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 teasers. Man teasers. Yeah. Yes, that's y you need to go beat some man teasers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to feel about what we just said. You heard it first on this channel first. Oh. <laughs> He's eating a shoe. He's so cute. Is that a shoe? I think it's a shoe. It did some flips. Yeah. He, he can't. Why don't you use your hand? It, it's them pumped up kicks. Oh god, no. Don't, let's not talk <laughs> about that. Did we, did we already mention that? No, when we're not going to. I mean, obviously we're not going to do that. Hey, you were right, it's a shoe. This My belongs shoe. to a Cavandre. Hey, it's a blue shoe. I have blue shoes. Nice. And that was a baby Drago just now. Cavandre must be around here somewhere. I keep telling you, man. I'm right here. All right, he's right next to me. I like the ellipsis. It's like, yeah, you got it, but it's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, tree. Those trees look... Yeah, I don't trust the trees. Nope. Nope. Not bread. Oh, we can't. All right, we're good. We're That's fine. Bread. Whatever tree... Oh, okay. See, I told you. I warned you about the trees, dog. It's not even like a weird thing. I it's just love a fucking it. Tree. I love its face. It's got like a goofy it's ass It's a smile. stupid fucking face. A vacuum attack because he sucks. And I like that la the branch in the middle, in the back part where it's just like, well, yep, like putting its leg out so that if someone pulls over to pick her up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. It's great. Oh, there. Now he's dead. <laughs> Let's do this shit, son. All right, where are we at? Oh, hey, this thing. This looks just like the thing you saw atop the cliff earlier. This one appears to be broken, however. Son of a bitch! You got fucked up. Ah, fuck tree. Again, in the gangster style. Goddamn tree! I fucking love that face, though. It's a great face. It's it is pretty good. I really, really love the uh, the enemy designs in this game, especially later on. Because they can get really what the fuck. It's 176 damage, and it stops when I do the thing. Oh, like, that's right. And you can ask Bobby, I like all the weirdest things. He does like all the weirdest things. Yes. It's, it's very true. Like the old YouTube poop stuff that everybody was just kind of like, alright, this is the thing, and then they rip off when they're doing video editing. He actually likes those. I love YouTube poop. YouTube poop is a classic. Uh, Shoutouts to the things one. The only the only good maker of YouTube poop in the last like five at least years. Five thousand years. I well, might as well heal and then grab it. 
Yeah. Are you a fan of beef jerky? Uh, on occasion. It's not, not really my thing. Not usually, though. Yeah. But this one guy I used to work with, he made... He, like, made his own jerky mm -hmm. from where, you know, it was the South. So he'd go hunting, and then he'd actually use everything and make his own jerky. And he made some garlic Parmesan jerky. That, okay, that sounds that, good. That was great. Yeah. Holy shit. It's Cavandre's other shoe. Sorry for the late one on that one. Cavandre, we're here to rescue you. Thank you. Where are you? Good boy. Right here, fam. No, not Yoshi. <laughs> Nature uh, finds a way. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. What is that? What do you mean, what? It's a drug. You dumb fuck. It's like a robo. Robo Drago. Yeah. That's not a Drago anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. He wishes he was Han Solo. Oh, yeah. Nice. Because they say that line in yeah, all the story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It usually doesn't make any fucking sense. That's. Yeah, that's very true. Except in Rogue One. It's up there. Fuck Rogue One, though. Because it's a great movie. It's not good. Best one. No. Yeah, alright. It's not the best one. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will watch the prequels again before watching Rogue One. I... Ow. Yeah. And that is probably the worst thing I can say about it. Wow. We are going to willingly watch Twilight before I watch Rogue One again. We're going to willingly watch Twilight before I watch the prequels again. Also that. So yeah. I'm also willing to do that too. Uh, in the comments, post your favorite Star Wars movie and tell us why. And I swear to God, Tim, if you come in and say <laughs> Rogue One, I'm going to slap your shit. Alright, this is boss battle. We're going to... Yeah, this dude's got like 700 HP. Damn. Like 724. I just had it up. Alright, and we're supposed to use the, the thing, right? Where, where is it? Drago Bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use that thing. Yeah, 724 HP. Damn. Alright, we grasped the Drago Fang tightly and pounced on the Mecha Drago. And it we should to probably tough toughen up, too. Well, I, t I toughened up first round. Okay. He let out a howl. With a rebel yell! <laughs> He used a biting attack. Oh, he missed! Get wrecked, Mecha Drago! Nice. Let's, let's strengthen up some, too. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a sexy sound. See? Warcry. Remember what we have. It's great. So, literally nothing happened that turn. Except that he got minus one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And I can't really strengthen up again. It doesn't like doing that, does it? Well, because you just got strengthened down. So, I think so. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Six. That motherfucker. Let's fuck him up. Power smash? You, I mean... Oh, oh shit! <laughs> it actually hit? <laughs> Let's not continue, though. Let's just take that as a good thing. And then... <laughs> Alright, so we're up to about 400 damage. Four. Damn, son. 560. Uh-oh. Flamey-o, Hoppin'. Alright, I'm gonna heal here. That's a good idea. Batman loves cheese! Of course he does. He's always got bat cheese in his utility belt. Alright, I'm gonna... Don't, don't you love bat cheese? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Where's the bat Drago repellent? <laughs> oh, man. Smack him around. Something. He's getting fucked up, dude. Get rocked, Mecha Drago. Alright. I think you're good to do another bash. Before we, uh... One oh. last attack! Oh, shit. Okay. Did, did we save enough HP? Oh, oh, fuck! Okay, quickly, quickly, there's no time. Yes! <laughs> Dude! <gasps> that was way easier than it should have been. I think. I think it's just because we got that stick in yeah, the beginning. Yeah, the think, better stick is, is great. Yeah, I think if you miss that, you're going to have a much harder time with this fight. Yeah. 486. Yay! 17, bish. Bish? 
Bish, yeah. Wow, that's kicking it back a ways. I knew a guy whose last name was Bish in high school. That unfortunate bastard. He he was an asshole, so I don't mind. Oh, well, fuck him, yeah. then. Shout-outs to, to him, if he ever watches this show. <laughs> yeah, shout-out to you, Mr. Bish. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I don't know you at all, but uh, my friend says he doesn't like you. Oh, we just beat the crap out of it, and it just stands back up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it felt, we didn't bump into it that time. It, okay, sure. Oh, God. You're going to make me sad. Oh, no baby dragon. Oh, it did the mute. Oh. Batman! Don't do it. That won't solve anything. You'll only make a child go through what Cavander and Cactus had to. Sounds like Misket. Yeah. Oh, get oh, fuck. fucked, Batman. Yeah, fuck you, baby Drago. I'm gonna stab your ass. That's rude. I have no sympathy for things. Oh, I cried. Oh. Oh, shit. I feel bad now. That's just depressing. Yeah. Well. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah. No! Yeah. It is possible that until now, the people Jesus of Tasmili Village had never known sadness. On sunny days and on cloudy days, they always greeted each other with smiles. That's twice you didn't warn me. I don't warn you shit, dude. You son of a bitch. They lived in harmony with the creatures of the forest, and we've only just begun. The strong would help the weak, and those who had would share with those who had not. However, it now appears the villagers have learned all too much about sadness. Suddenly everything is changing for the worse. When did this change begin? Where did it begin? What set it in motion, and why? Almost as if toys, the peaceful animals are being transformed into strange, ferocious creatures that attack people. Some people, like Batman, have even had their families torn apart. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. That too. Just what is this suspicious group that wears pig masks? What are these eerie objects that soar through the once beautiful skies? And where could the missing Cavandre be? I don't know. Where is he? Right? The mysteries continue to pile up. And so, the tale first begins. This is just the intro? As a tragedy. Yeah. Chapter one. Wow. Yeah. So, okay. And we've got a few chapters before we even see, like, a cactus again, I think. Really? Yeah. And he's, like, the main character of the game. This is going to be a long Let's Play, guys. <laughs> yeah. I think Beard Bros had like something like 68 episodes of Mother 3. Damn. Alright, let's save this game. Hello, I'm a frog. Shall I save everything that has happened so far? Oh, well, yeah. Saving. Yeah, so. End of chapter one. And now um, we're back in time. That was a weird little scene change. I think you were Dresden, weren't you? Oh yeah, just my normal voice, right? I think so. Batman. I'm not really sure what to say. What happened to Harley was a terrible tragedy. This, this is the same shit. Yeah. I can't say I know how you're feeling. Harley's barrel ended without incident. Cactus has been crying at her grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. He settled this. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know anytime. Oh, okay, now something's different happened. Dresden. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no problem, Batfleck. That's that's more of a Bailman voice, but yeah, Batfleck's the best one. Batfleck is the best one. Well, okay, Kevin Conroy is the best one. Well, yeah, but I mean, come on. But Batfleck is the best live-action one confirmed by everyone who it's has like, a brain. It's like, hey, who's the best fighter? Sylvester Stallone or Arnold Schwarzenegger? But it doesn't matter because you don't mention Chuck Norris because he would obviously just win. Right. It's like who's the best fighter next to Chuck Norris? That's the way the competition goes. Yes, that's right. Uh, shoutouts to 2007. 
Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Making Chuck Norris jokes, referencing YouTube poop. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, that's true. Dresden, I speak to you not as my son, but as my pupil. It looks like a fucking cute little elf. <laughs> Listen. <but> hey. <laughs> the time has come. Hey, listen. No, this is not something we have been looking forward to. I had hoped the time wouldn't come, if at all possible. But you and I have been constantly preparing for this day, in the event it did come. So it appears you finally have a chance to try out what I've taught you. The enemy's form is still unknown. But we must now change the way we live. Are you prepared? Sure. Dresden, I am now going to give you a mission. Thanks. You will sneak into Osohe Castle. There you will find a certain important item and bring it back here. That's... As for what um... this certain important item is, no. There is no need for me to tell you. Fuck you, old man. <laughs> There's every need. If a thief can't determine the value of what he steals, he's a disgrace to the profession. He still needs to know what he's stealing. Jesus. Oh. Still, would you like to know a little about it? Yes. It's a very important looking item. It's like, all shiny. Yeah. I will say no more than that. Truth is, I forgot all about what it was. Diamond encrusted dildo. Yeah. It's the first thing I'm thinking. Exactly. Very important. Shiny. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that's my first thought. That's his first thought about everything. In the basement, you will find items I've prepared for you. The seven mystical thief tools. No, wait. Were there seven? Well, whatever. Take them with you. They will prove useful during your battles with the enemy. So, a uh, question for the audience. Who's your favorite thief in uh, fiction? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. Because there's, there's quite a few of them. There's quite a few, especially when you get like into like the medieval D&D kind of things. Oh, uh, yep. Oh, so, like, I mean, the first thing that comes to my head is is Gaius from Fire Emblem Awakening. I, I always oh, I always liked him because, I, I mean, I also have a, a weakness for sweets. Uh, not, you know, every sweet, but most sweet things. What about you, sir? Uh, wow, that's a good question. Because, oh, I, I know. I'd probably have to go with the uh, Thief for my all-time favorite game. Uh, Shining Force. Shining Force 2. Yep. Because uh, you can get this thief called Slade, and he's a rat. A rat. Like an anthropomorphic rat. Got it. And he kills shit, and it is great. And, and later on in the game, you can get the oh, a special weapon that can one-hit KO any non-boss character. Interesting. Yeah. I really like him. So... Fun fact for you guys, we're going to be playing Shining Force 2 at some point. I, I've never experienced that game before. I think Bobby's beaten it a million times. Yeah. Um, so at some point, I'm not sure. I think it's might be the one after this one. We'll, we'll see how that plays out. But um, yeah, look forward to that. I, I, I don't know anything about Shining Force, so it's going to be interesting. Aside from the fact that it's a tactical RPG, which means it's the best kind of game. Right. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at what we just got. Oh, no, not... Okay, so we got the wall staples, which we've already seen. Yeah. Got the siren beetle, a beetle that makes a shrill noise, causes an enemy to stop and cover its ears. Neat. Uh, hypno pendulum, sway it in front of an enemy to lull it into a deep sleep. Sure. Smoke bomb, explodes into an acrid smoke, bringing an enemy to tears. Nice. Scary mask, scares an enemy, lowering its offense. Okay. Tickle stick, tickles an enemy, lowering its defense. This... This seems out of place. <laughs> he got it from the Majipsies. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got the thing. And then... Hint inside the castle is a treasure with the power to change the fate of the world. Back when the king of Osohe still lived in the castle. Dot, dot, dot. Yes, I believe that's when it was. Anyway, back then I hid this treasure where no one would ever lay eyes upon it. I felt it was too much for even the king of Osohe to handle. Or so I recall, anyway. But the as-of-yet-unknown enemy may be trying to acquire it. Under normal circumstances, this would be a job that calls for me, but... Dresden, I feel confident that I've hammered every technique I know into you. So try to accomplish this mission yourself. Understand? When you go outside, check behind the house. 
I've hidden another mystical thief tool like item there. Yeah, it's like the the bomb that we found earlier with uh, Batman. Oh, okay. Why did I hide them all separately like that? That's what I'd like to know. Fuck you, old man. I'm losing my mind. God, you're the reason why there are Starbucks next to Starbucks's. I refill the box every once in a while when I feel so inclined, so always keep that in mind. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's Again, this. I mentioned this before, but I really like uh, how Duster slash Dresden has a limp. It's it's something that you don't generally see in games like this. Yeah. His walk animation is different from everyone else's. It's pretty nice. It's pretty. It's a nice detail. It makes it makes the game feel more like a real place, you know. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like Osohi Castle is right there, surrounded by a moat. Yeah, I think that's that one. All right, so let's let's get going. Osohi. And I'm running. Oh, hello. It's Mapson. If you need something for the map-loving and map-wanting Mapson, it must be a map, yes? Yeah. Oh, if it isn't just... <laughs> I see you still enjoy your nighttime strolls. I want to go to the Sway Castle. In that case, I'll mark it on your map for you. Hey, it's been marked. All right. Huzzah. I'm not even going to bother asking what you're off to do this late at night. But you do know that Asoe's castle drawbridge is up, right? That means you can't get inside! But there are rumors of an underground passage <laughs> that leads into the castle! <laughs> <laughs> I bet! Nippleite. The Gravekeeper knows something about it! Fucking nipple. Fucking nippleite, man. Alright. That voice is really hard to do, and I hope you guys appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, Alright, then. That it's makes it worthwhile. It. What the fuck? Dot dot dot. Well, pardon me. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Oh! Uh, I'm sorry. But we're in a ter <laughs> <laughs> We're in a terrible hurry. You if you get excuse a shot, us. dude. No! I'm being authentic. Come now, little monkey. We should be off. That's authentic? Yeah. I'm just trying to bring realism to the game and our channel. We just fought a mecha dragon. Yeah. More like a T-Rex. Okay. Alright, fine. Uh, who was Dresden? Or who was Butch? Uh, I'll do it. Dresden! <laughs> If you promise not to tell anyone, I'll let you in on a cool secret. Check out this bag. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. <laughs> what do you think's inside? Money. There's money inside. Ever heard of money? What? You don't know what money is? Actually, I'm not really all that sure either. Oh, do the uh, fat hour. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Love it. Okay. After all, we've never had it in Tasmania before. But apparently, an era of money is about to start! <laughs> huh? What's an era of money? <laughs> huh? Oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs! Yeah, he took a real liking to my pigs! And then he asked me in tears if I'd trade them for these. It did seem pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy! This was a poor choice for this voice. <laughs> He's definitely a friend worth having! <laughs> Anyways, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any ignorant people taking off with it, so I'm gonna hide it in this well here. If you don't want any ignorant people to have it, maybe you shouldn't have accepted the trade. Yeah. Oh, awesome shit. Love it. Uh, three snaps in the Z formation. Yeah. Dresden, the secret is just between you and me. Oh, thank God he's gone. All right, can we, let's see if we can get this, and then I'll probably... Oh, but I... Oh, fuck you. Very, right. A very bad thief. Yeah, like the worst thief. Sorry, right. Frogo. Well, let's, let's save, and that'll be a, right about the time limit for us. Yeah, go ahead and call it for this episode. Level 8. I'm all the way back down to level 8. Rest okay. in peace, friend. Alright. So, who do you want to do a shout-out to this time? Uh, I'd like to do a shout-out to SNG Studios. Okay. Uh, or Spectre Sound Studios. SNG is Spectre Media Group. 
Um, but what they do is their YouTube channel talking about how to record music, going inside of the studio, doing all the like big show reviews and all that stuff where like all the guitars get together and they have all this new gear. Uh, they do independent gear reviews. It's run by a dude who was salty as fuck, and I love it. He salty just he hates everything, and it's great. But if you wanna, if you're interested in music and like how things actually get produced, how everything needs to equalize and all that stuff, it's really really cool channel. Some really great gear reviews, so I highly recommend them. They also have a whole bunch of like guest stars on there, mm -hmm. and that's how I've ended up finding like a couple of other like guitarists or bassists or whatever that I like on YouTube. Nice. So yeah, shout out to them. What about you, sir? So, uh, last time I did a shout-out to Gerard Khalil, the completionist, who's one half of Superbeard Bros. So I figured I'd give a shout-out to the other half of Superbeard Bros, which is Alex Fasciani. Uh, he's also part of the TOVG network, uh, and he, he's a co-host with his girlfriend, uh, Pokekills, on the Pokemon channel, the National Dex. So, I mean, but he's, he's just such a positive force, except when they're playing Sonic Adventure DX, on uh, Superbeard Bros. <laughs> And it's amazing. Like he's he's helped me get through some pretty shitty days just with laughter and being just a weird, glorious, positive force in my life. So I appreciate you, Alex. Uh, I'd like to meet you too someday. Sounds great. We're gonna be linking some of their stuff down in the comment uh, section below and in the cards up top. Oh, and the, the cards. That's, That's right. Because right. you figured out how to do that. I, which is I've awesome. been doing YouTube magic. Great. So All right, guys. <laughs> we will see you next time. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Bye.